All right, welcome back to Siege. I have to record today and post today. So if this ends up being a really shitty round, then oh well. Oh well. We're gonna go Blitz. So that way my head could have a bigger hitbox because the headset counts as your head still. <laughs> I like how their, try their fix for that wasn't to fix the hitbox and make his just make the headset not count as part of his head no they just made his head smaller behind the shield <laughs> so it, it technically works as a fix Find but at the same time the it's a very lazy like you could have just made it so oh it, it just doesn't count which it shouldn't because getting hit on the headphone isn't gonna really hurt you. Eh, maybe some shrapnel from the device. But not a, oh, you're instantly dead kind of way, right? It's silly that it counts as a headshot. Oh, all right. We're gonna get ourselves onto the third floor. So I can observe if there are any roamers. Insertion. You know how this game gets. You know how this game gets. Anyways, let me address something again. But, guys, uh, why? Why, man? I have to fucking. Huh. Welcome to Siege. Anyway, perfect opportunity for me to talk about a couple of things. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to play the characters I want to play. Please stop trying to boss me around to fucking do what you want me to do. I know that's not going to fix anything, but at least a couple of people will be alerted that, hey, it's really stupid nice and really fucking Fire annoying. Especially because a lot of fucking people, they just say shit, and they're like, Oh, Gom, you never play this character, and then it'll be a video, it'll be like literally after a video that I've done it. Like, I have people going, Gom, stop going, like, Twitch and play Buck. And fucking, I have so many Buck videos. I had so many Buck videos where people were and then people started bitching that I played too much Buck. And it's fucking insane. Right? Like, I play these stupid fucking characters to to try and satisfy some people, and they're like, Oh, God, I'm play it. Like, nothing's gonna happen. Do you understand what Siege is? Siege is a fucking first-person shooter where if you die, you're out of the game for three to five minutes. Why would I play these characters that are objectively not that good? Some of them are solid, yes, but what am I gonna do with this fucking thing? Okay? Look at this fucking thing. This just locks me in a fucking place. Yay. Yay. What a fun character. Being stuck in place. Op 4 drone has found the biohazard container. Oh my god, make it be pretty powerful. I mean, it instantly kills anyone if you could see them. Yeah, but welcome to fucking Rainbow Six Siege, the game where the meta of the game is literally, hey, take advantage of the peeker's advantage and just constantly press 80-80 around corners. That's how you win. Yeah, this just isn't the fucking game for this, man. The variety is the spice of life, but... <laughs> you're not gonna have much spice if you're just getting killed immediately. So yeah, you're not gonna see me play certain characters. Tough tits, I don't like certain characters. Tachanka is one of those characters I dislike. I mean, he can't even spin this thing 360 degrees. <laughs> the only thing he's good at is destroying the shit out of this wall. Forward. 
Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. I'm actually trying to put this fucking thing down. Oh boy, and here we go. Op four, last operator standing. That guy was an idiot. I <laughs> he didn't even look. He knew I was in here. Oh, here we go. Oh. Eliminated. Mission successful. Oh, that's locked off. I figured that maybe they were coming from there, but nope. How'd that guy get inside? Did he just walk through the door and then end up on the other side while we weren't looking? I can't even check now. Obviously, he could have blown up a hole. I'm not going fucking... I'm just going to go characters I want to go. Which is a decent chunk of the characters, but they're just like, I got go mountain yet. No. No. Do you understand what you're asking me to do when you tell me to go mountain yet? You want me to go to a character who can only shoot a pistol and whose special ability is he can make himself a little bit harder to kill and be a distraction. When I can always just go like blitz, but then I don't want to also go blitz because still pistols don't get me a lot of kills. Oh my god, you're not supposed to be getting a lot of kills. It's blitz. I want to get lots of kills, so objectively, not a good idea to play the character. Oh, God, it's just very frustrating. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's inevitable. There's always, always, always going to be people complaining about me playing characters and wanting to see me play other characters, and that will never change no matter how much I want for it. But if I can even get like two or three people to go, Wow, I'm kind of being a dick by constantly bitching about every fucking time he picks a character. Then at least that's something, right? That's a, that, I guess that's a philosophy that stems to a lot of things. I replied to a lot of comments like that. Proceed to biohazard container location. Because yeah, if you can, if one person, if even one person can go, oh, you know, I am kind of being a dick, and change their ways, it was worth it. This was a perfect opportunity for them to shoot the shit out of us through windows. We're gonna get up to the third floor. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah, no, just keep shooting through the windows. That's really gonna, really gonna get us. There's a pulse. Oh, that's not the button to talk. I'm fucking thinking Overwatch here. And he's gone. <laughs> this is the game. Oh, right, okay. Sorry, friend. Peeker's advantage. That meant nothing. You gotta pre-fire this shit. Ready to beach. You do have this fucking guy who just keeps on shooting through it. Oh. <laughs> well! That makes things a lot easier for me. Somebody else shoot him. You're taking off. Resume securing the container once the threat is neutralized. Ow. 
Stop securing the container. Wow! Oh my god. Op 4 eliminated. Friendly mission success. You would have figured! He almost killed all of y'all. <laughs> Fucking shotguns. Holy shit. <laughs> like, I figured I'll run in there. Maybe I'll die. But we know where he is. And. Because somebody called out. He said, he's to the left. And we know where that guy was, so he could only have been in the direction I was looking at already. And then that guy came around the corner. Uh, but ranting about something else, it is still ridiculous how much this game requires speakers advanced. That's the new meta. That's, that's, that people are, are going, you know what? We can abuse so much in this game. We can, we can literally abuse and exploit something that allows you to look around corners, see if there's any enemies, and then back up. And on their screen, they might not even see you. Or when they see you, it's too late for them to react, but you had a full, like, almost half to a full second to see them. It's... It's very cheatsy. It reminds me of Guns the Duel. <laughs> in, in, in a way. Some people might, might have their ears going, First off, what the fuck is Guns of Duels? And then the people who have played Guns of Duels will be like, Hold up now, where are you going with this? You're talking about my childhood here, Gum. But Guns of Duel was this free-to-play game that was kind of neat. It was really fun to play. Uh, and there were a lot of exploits in the game that abused animations to do a bunch of admittedly badass things. Like being able to... Like in the game, you were able to... Uh, wall, uh, sometimes wall run, sometimes jump off of, of walls, but you couldn't do it to get you super, to super high body. up. But if you exploited the animation and you swapped your weapons while jumping and dashing, you could keep wall bouncing up and up and up and gain height. <laughs> and so you could literally stay off the ground for an entire match if you were a skilled player. And that's what people were like! That's what people were like, oh yeah, this game is awesome because of that. And they would freak out if any of the exploits that did cool stuff like that were fixed. And so, I don't fucking know. I, I'm just kind of, I guess, taking the opportunity to talk about a fucking random free-to-play game that I played when I was like 12. <laughs> Five seconds to go. But that's what the game's kind of being like. Uh, not so much in the... in that kind of ridiculous nature. But in the location. fact that there are exploits that that purely that that straight up exist that aren't being addressed and i don't know if they will because the players might eventually complain because the players have already embraced it as this is what the game is i don't know if that was sledge or if that was somebody else <laughs> did we even shoot out the cameras nope Trying to figure out my fucking talk about. Oh, it's caps, right? There's a roamer on the third floor. Starting shock drone. Sitting in a shock drone. Target detected. AMP incoming. Device is going down. There is shit going down. Oh, that's cheaty. Load him back. <laughs> He's down. Now secured. Ooh, watch out for uh, a rope downstairs. 
bottom clear. Room looks clear for for B. Uh, yeah, right now it is. Doc is downstairs. Sorry, not Rook. Um, he's walking the stairway uh, on the way to Alpha. All right, get the diffuser up here in. and avoid that hole. One out four remaining. Nice. Hi, Doc. Yeah, Hi, Doc. Nice, nice, nice. Scared the shit out of me. Diffuser is active. Two characters at all costs. I'm scared. I did. I shook so hard when I saw that. Those are the best kills. I'm looking at. Oh, he's coming up the staircase. It's Bandit. <laughs> My call outs. My call outs. I like how that guy was still trying to be sneaky. Like, wow, he has the last person alive. Coming in that direction. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go Jaeger. <laughs> We're gonna go Jaeger. Because technically, this is an assault rifle. Or I guess not even technically. It's completely an assault rifle. Which means it does a good bit of damage. And doing a good bit of damage can save your life. Protect the bombs. Ugh, we got this area. Okay. Time for some serious protection. So for people who don't know, Jaeger, for Jaeger's thing, it kind of destroys grenades that fly by it, and that includes Off fuses, uh, grenades. Not all of them, though. So, I mean, that's how, that's one of the biggest reasons, how come I never really used Jaeger, because it doesn't destroy all of fuses, bombs, just some of them, usually. And so it's like, okay, well then, if it's not gonna destroy every single one, I might as well pay. But hey, maybe his assault rifle can be good. I'm gonna reinforce this area. Five seconds left. So that way they can't just shoot into here. In place. I'm gonna put this over here because they might reinforce from the other side, or they might reach from the other side. I'm gonna toss another one over here. You can stop worrying about grenades now. God, I couldn't put it up. Swapping Max. Oh, well, there you go. The Peter's down. Right here. Oh my god, I, I got to do nothing. All the enemies died before they could get in the building. Come on, enemy team. We weren't even being like them. We weren't even being those guys who just constantly poke their heads out windows in super super room. Nope. We were just around the points, around the doors. Minus, you know, Frost. Frost being Frost. Just like, oh, hey, person. Bloop, dead. <laughs> I'm Frost. I'm gonna go with Buck. One day I will get a chance to really effectively use Buck. I mean, I mean, I've, I've gotten aces. I've gotten an ace with Buck. I'm really sad that one of those aces was in corrupted footage. God, that sucked. Like, like a legitimate, oh god, all of my teammates are dead, and I'm operating by myself kind of ace. It was awesome. You just gonna have to take my word for it, because that footage... They're upstairs. It would look like, if I was even able to, to render it or post it, you would go like, what the fuck, Gom? Why are you putting us on drugs? This is illegal. Oh, 
No! I was gonna jump on the Ten bed. Seconds. This is fine. Whatevs. So, what do they got? Of course, they have Doc Five from seconds. last time. <laughs> they have Tachanka. Like, they were inspired by the fact that our Tachanka got this a kill. Is now secured. You found a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. If you get killed by a Tachanka, you have no one to blame but yourself. Because you, you should obviously be droning into the building. Oh, fuck that. I'm not about to go in front of that window. Anyways, you should obviously be droning in front of the window. So you don't get screwed over. There's a uh, roamer over here. On the staircase. Just trying to look outside again. Peeker in the kid's bedroom. Oh, shit, watch out, main hallway. Grenade. Can't see anybody. <laughs> that was a very quick glance. Okay. I want to try, uh, reaching this, through this area. Although I have no idea if there's any enemies in there, so I'm going to breach not on the the seal. Just Lord knows someone's gonna pop pop their head out like right over here. Okay, so there's only two of us left. Found where the Tachanka was. Hey. Oh. Friendly operator remaining. Well, I'm fucked. or kick. <laughs> okay. That's unfortunate. Oh, you saw my legs from out there? Fuck me. I was gonna fuck up that guy going over the, the balcony. But I kind of like flip flopped. I tried to change my weapon type as the guy came through the window. So I hit him with the shotgun. And then I went through the swap weapon animation right in front of him, or swap at weapon type. Which was a very bad idea. Very bad timing on my part. Uh, we're gonna go Jaeger again. Just because I didn't actually get a chance to really use him. My teammates have been killing enemies pretty well. They're pretty alright. I mean, we don't have anybody who's like nine kills. <laughs> so. It's been balanced in the, the kill range, which I like. I like when it's a shared experience between the teammates rather than just like, oh, by the way, no one's getting in. Only one person gets kills here. The floor's done. 
I love when people say I don't reinforce things. <laughs> They're going to reinforce stuff, and it, yeah, it's true sometimes. Sometimes I don't reinforce stuff because I'm running around trying to get certain things set up or I'm on drone hunting duty. But I, I do quite a bit of reinforcements. It's like people have selective memory. Just gonna toss this over here. ADS deployed and ready to go. Reloading. You can stop worrying about grenades now. If they had a thermite, they could just blow into the garage. Which they just did. They blew into the garage. Get the fuck out of here! Oh, fuck off! I hate perspective in this fucking game. Like, half of my fucking screen is purely behind... ...is purely behind the shelf. But lol, nope, your entire face is just open. located a bomb. You know what to do. <laughs> Friendly security. Hostiles eliminated. Wow. Did he run in from the right side past Doc and then to the left side in front of Doc? Because that's unfortunate because he had the drop on Doc. A Doc wasn't looking the right way. What's with the levers? Yeah, that's a good question. Holy shit, I'm fucking clearance level 70. <sighs> I wouldn't be that guy soon. I'm gonna be that guy who's at like 120 clearance level and people are like, Oh my god, he's so... He's played too much of this game. And then I'm gonna disappoint them because I'm like average. Because I only play this game like once a week, maybe once every other week. Doesn't work out so well. You can't build up a lot of skill if you're just playing only once a week. But I can't be one of those guys. I just, I do other shit, right? <laughs> I can't be that one of those guys who, well, since Siege came out, I've put in a thousand hours, and I have such a reaction speed that anytime an enemy even puts a hair out around the corner, I killed them already. Peeker's advantage, baby. You gotta take advantage of things. Exploits don't matter. <laughs> you play to win, buddy. <laughs> or how one of, uh, one guy commented, Why does God bitch about when people are using tactics? <laughs> because the tactics are cheap. <laughs> Alright, because the tactics are cheap. And you know it. You fucking know it. Ooh, hostage! Remember when we got this, like, 15 times in a row, and I was getting sick of it? But now I kind of miss it. Now I kind of miss it. Alright. Objectively, I think I do the best when I'm using... ACOG scopes. I just... <laughs> anytime I'm not using an ACOG site, things don't work out for me! Because then I get killed by somebody who does have an ACOG site, and it sucks. But with that said, there have been times where, because I'm using an ACOG site, 
I can't hit somebody who's like directly in front of me. Because aiming the ACOG sight at like a person who's in point blank range is fucking chaotic. Need to like I have no idea how to really describe it for like a real life comparison. But they're just suddenly in your face you're like, whoa, whoa uh. It's just panic. How about that? That's that's what it is. Alright, I'm gonna go into the basement. See if we can find anything down there. It sounds like they're in the roof or in the upper floor. Located. Yep. So I guess I'm just gonna bring my drone up there. Insertion in ten seconds. Five seconds to insertion. Okay, looks like a lot of them are chilling out in the point. Located. And there's a pulse, the perfect character that I get to try and counter. Because you can see him through walls with IQ. I don't know if there's a person- oh, that's my electronic. Ha! <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if somebody put like a C4 there or what. There is an electronic directly below where I am, that might be Pulse. Or it might not be, I don't fucking know. He ain't moving! That's a camera. Okay. Well, whatever. We're gonna get some zoomage. Where the hell is Pulse? Is he really just chilling out with his friends and not actually roaming? That would be interesting. Ah. Uh, Nope. All right, I found Pulse. I'm gonna keep tracking him. Drone he's moving around. He's directly underneath where I am. <laughs> you gonna roam? That's fine. What happened? Ready, go. There he is. following his icon. There's nothing even really being gained from this. Scanning for electronic devices. Oh, I don't even know if I'm finding him or not. Alright, I'm getting in here. Captain's hit real hard. Because I am currently accomplishing nothing. Four last oh, standing. Pulse is down. There's nothing for me to scan through. Hostage secured. Secure the hostage. Oh, that's a shame. Op four Friendly mission successful. Good job. <laughs> the guy was in the fucking room. <laughs> uh, where are you going with our hostage? We need her. I played a little bit too defensively that round, but sometimes it's better to play cautious and just not get a kill than to play bulls headed, charge straight in, and then just get murdered and sit out for the entirety of the round. Although that was an unfortunate scenario. That was uh, one of the scenarios where we really didn't get to do much against Pulse. Because I kept on fucking getting confused where the fuck he was. Like, you saw the one that was moving. That had to be Pulse. He's the only defender that has electronics on him. <laughs> then, like, I'd follow him, and eventually it would be just pointing somewhere else? That was confusing. Or, like, it would be just the camera instead? That's just weird shit.
I don't know where I can put reinforcements in a good spot. I guess over here. The problem is, some places, a lot of the reasons how come I don't reinforce is because there are a lot of places that you can use as like murder holes. Like here, this is a good murder hole. They can't go through this area. I can put a reinforcement here. I can take the main stairs camera to see where the fuck enemies are. Deploy nitro. Oh. I'm gonna, like, die immediately. Glass is down. Anyways, in terms of murder holes, this is also a good spot. Reloading! See? Cover me. Reloading. Enemies teams just keep leaving in mass. Um, don't quote me, but that might mean uh, they're AFK. Okay. Down to 15 seconds. Time expires in 10 seconds. Five seconds to go. <laughs> Mission success. Holy shit, where the fuck was she going? She was on a murder path in my direction. Oh, she didn't even fucking know. She just ran in there. With no real aim, just spamming bullets. Anyways, this is unfortunate. People keep on fucking leaving. And I don't like posting games where people have left on the enemy team or left on my side because it's obviously not a very fair experience. But I can't help the human the human condition, right? Anyways, we're gonna go blitz. This is a good opportunity to just run up to them and poke them with my shield. To find the hostage. 
It should be noted, though, that there are a lot of times where sometimes it's not really the people leaving, but them just getting disconnected because of the servers. Because I've had so many times where, like, both teams lose, like, a whole shitload of people as we're getting the match started. Confirmed. The hostage has been located. Ten seconds to insertion. Five seconds before insertion. Uh oh. No, my drone! Okay, both of them are just chilling at the point. I'm just gonna run over there. I'm gonna flash some people. Maybe shoot them in the face. Capkin has his C4. So as soon as I see Capkin, I need to be aware that he's gonna toss a C4 at me, and so I should just be shooting at him instead. Breach charges in place. Oh my god, dude, this is a fucking cornered. One out four remaining. <laughs> uh, poor, poor guy, he's minutes. just locked in this little corner. I definitely couldn't fucking see him. Holy shit. Smoke. <laughs> the smoke cloud is so fucking thick. The enemy teams keep leaving. I don't know if I've ever raged quit from a game of Siege. <laughs> I mean, I can say that for I can say I've probably rage quit every other game, but for Siege, I think I just fucking sit there and stew in my anger. And I want to see what happens in the next match. The only, the only time I could even be close to consider for rage quitting would be those times where I am the last person alive, but I'm never the first fucking person to leave the game. Like, nope, fuck this, I'm out, fuck this guy, fuck this shit. <laughs> Most of the time, I just walk away from the computer. I'm dead for the round, and so I walk away for the round. Come on, enemy team, stop leaving. Whether it be rage quitting or getting disconnected by Ubisoft servers, just stop having those things happen. Come on. <laughs>